Hey guys, I got some great news. I know you guys are going to be really excited to hear this. I know you guys have been waiting for this information and everything. And if you don't know already, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is getting two brand new spanking maps, guys. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. All right, yo, now that I got the bullshit out of the way, for real, two new maps, quote unquote new maps, are coming to Black Ops 4. And, you know, I, I don't really know how to feel about it because we don't really know much of the details behind it. At this point, all we really know is how the maps look, what maps they are, things like that, and that they're pretty much guaranteed to come to the game. So, so the two maps coming to Black Ops 4 that I'm referring to, quote unquote, coming to Black Ops 4 is is actually going to be Firing Range Night and what is it, Seaside Sunset, I think is what they're calling it right now, whatever that name will be at, you know, whenever it comes out. I have no idea if they'll change the names. So basically, the two new maps I'm referring to are actually just remade maps. And these are maps that we have in the game. These are maps that we play pretty extensively. I'd say these are two of the more popular maps in Black Ops 4, especially Firing Range. And it, they're just... They're just cosmetic changes. Not even cosmetic changes, I can't even call it that. The only differences between this map and the map that it basically is a carbon copy of is the fact that if you're playing Firing Range, you'll be playing at nighttime, and if you're playing on Seaside, you'll be playing at what you, whatever you want to call it, Sunset, Dusk, something like that, you know. Now, usually if something like this came out, I'd be kind of pissed off, right? Like, oh, great, two more remade maps. Because think about it like this, okay? I'm not, I'm not guaranteed, I'm not really happy that this is coming out, you know? I'm not really happy that these maps are here. I don't think anyone's sitting there like, man, I can't, fucking wait to play firing range at night more or less i just don't know enough of the details to like have a full fledged actual like opinion either way on it i mean we don't know when these are coming out anything like that so in this video i just kind of want to explore some of the possibilities behind this right explore some of the possibilities behind why these maps are coming to the game and how i'll react to them once they come into the game depending on the scenario of course so right now from what i've seen the community seems a bit divided on this and I mean, I feel both sides of the argument, you know, like, you know, I, I don't really care about these maps right now. I, I'm not happy they're coming into the game, but I'm not like pissed that they're here. I'm still waiting to see how they're going to implement these maps and under what conditions and stuff. So the first scenario I want to go ahead and bring up here is if these maps are part of the Black Ops Pass, which is the $50 premium pass for Call of Duty Black Ops 4, in which buying it basically gives you all the DLC maps that they intend to release with the Black Ops Pass. Now, if these are in the Black Ops Pass, then we got a real shitty situation on our hands here. Obviously, if you pay 50 bucks and the first two maps that they come out with in the Black Ops Pass are literally two maps that are already in the game, then obviously there is massive reason for people to be pissed. You know, I'm not a huge fan of the Black Ops Pass. Like I've said on so many occasions, it's an outdated DLC model. You know, it just doesn't really belong in the game, honestly. They need to just go to a free model or just sell the maps individually at most, you know? But th they're probably not going to ever do that. Anyways, if that's the case, obviously there's reason for people to be really mad about this. Because why would you ever, like, bring out a pass for people to buy that's $50 just to bring out two literal maps that are already in the game, one of which is a remade map that has been remade before and is now being remade off of a remake in this game? If, if that's the case, then people definitely have reason to be pissed. And of course, we don't know whether or not it is yet, and take what I'm saying with a grain of salt here, but I've been hypothesizing that the Black Ops Pass is actually just a pass full of remade maps that are coming in as DLC to the game. And if this is the case, and this is part of that Black Ops Pass, my little theory is pretty realistic at this point. Like, it, it's actually looking out to be that way, if that's the case. And these two maps are only for Black Ops Pass owners, which let's, again, hope that it's not, because that would be ridiculous and a total ripoff. So, I would be pretty pissed if this becomes a Black Ops Pass content exclusive. That just would be ridiculous. Anyways, let's say these maps are actually parts of events, which this is what I think it is. I don't understand why they would just bring this into the rotation out of of the random just out of the sky randomly you know that wouldn't make much sense to me and let's keep it real about these maps people are acting like this is an actual big change to the map this is nothing okay sure it might look cooler but literally all they have to do at most is change the brightness and put in like a sun texture or something in the sky that, that's literally all they've got to do and if they're using an actual like tool to develop this stuff if they use a program or something that they've licensed there's already probably a built-in option 
to change it from day to night cycle, where it'll automatically change the brightness settings and stuff for them. A lot of game development tools have that. And in the year 2018, I don't really see them not using some sort of like development tool or something for these maps and stuff. So it's really not hard. It, it probably honestly to make these maps took them like 30 minutes. So, if these come in, like, to the random rotation and stuff in the game, just out of the blue, they just add this in as free DLC like Nuketown was, we will now have six remade maps in Black Ops 4. Out of what, what would that be? 17 maps? Six of them would be remade, I think? Right now, I think we have 15 maps in the game, and five of them are technically remade maps, because we have, obviously, we have Summit, we have Firing Range, we have Jungle, we've got Slums, and then we have Nuketown, which Nuketown had the cosmetic change, and I think it looks pretty good, but at that point, we would have seven remade made maps just sitting in black ops 4 and two of them have already been in the game so the problem that i really see with them coming out for free i wouldn't be too happy about this because it would ruin the map rotation and this is something that i don't think anyone's really recognizing yet but there's no difference between these maps and you know regular firing range and regular seaside so when it comes down to it if they come out and they put this in the rotation they don't put it like its own featured playlist or it's not an event based map you're basically going to have two firing ranges and two seasides in the rotation for good now, which means that you're literally doubling the chances pretty much of playing Firing Range or Seaside. I mean, I don't think it's like actually mathematically doubling it all the way to obviously doubling the percentage of you playing it, but if you have, you know people are already picking Firing Range most of the time anyway. When that comes up, that's usually the map you're playing. Seaside is arguably one of the more popular maps in the game too when it comes down to it. Like when it's not remade maps and stuff, it's one of the more popular maps that I've played in my own personal experience anyway, so now that you have basically two versions of these maps in the game at the same time with basically no difference other than the lighting literally so with those in the rotation you're just asking for trouble because if you don't get regular firing range but you do get nightfall firing range you, you pretty much have no choice at that point because everyone's going to vote for it and eventually it's going to get down to the point where since the game has two versions of the same map that it can pick from at any time and firing range is already popular and you have obviously a new map coming into the game they're going to probably boost it a little bit i would say in how often it shows up you're, you're going to be playing a shit ton of firing range and a shit ton of seaside the two of which i would say you know they're going to get stale they're they're not going to be enjoyable to play consistently over and over and over and over again you know so that's going to become a problem and i'm not going to be too happy about this i mean i understand they want to release free dlc now that everyone's complaining and stuff and free dlc of course is a really good thing but can we have some originality treyarch if, if this is true if this is going to be free dlc for everyone can we at least get something for free that isn't remade if anything this just highlights laziness you know if this isn't an exclusive event it just shows treyarch doesn't care about making new maps it, do it just shows that they don't care about creating new content for this game so now for my third scenario which hopefully is the truth and this is just a big fucking event and these maps will be exclusively in their own playlist for a little while and then will pretty much either fall completely out of the rotation or just be in something you can play in custom games which like I said I hope is the scenario I'm fine with that you know because at least give us the choice of playing these remastered or I'm not even not even remastered remakes of remakes that are already in the game that way you don't ruin the map rotation just give us the choice of playing it in a featured playlist or something. Give us an event exclusive or something with these maps because, uh, like, I, I mean, I've already made the point clear. The, these just don't belong in the game unless they're event maps, and at this point, I don't really see why Activision would get so ballsy to put these in the Black Ops Pass and why Treyarch would make these free. These just don't make sense as free DLCs for people to play on, and they definitely don't even belong in the Black Ops Pass, so we don't really know much more. We don't know if they're tied to an event or not we don't know how they're gonna get delivered into the game or when they're coming in the game for all we know they could come out next august right before the next call of duty game comes out we have no clue but since they're already in the game files we already have screenshots there's people literally playing on the maps in like demos or whatever basically getting gameplay showing that it's real i'd say these games these not games but these maps are definitely coming out pretty soon i don't understand why they would put them in the game and just let them sit there dormant for so long if they're not planning on releasing them soon plus we haven't had our real first actual event in black ops 4 yet i mean we had that little halloween thing it just wasn't even like really anything all it was was like a couple of tiers into the black ops pass or something where you could earn some cosmetics that's all it really was there wasn't like any camos or anything you could earn there wasn't any challenges there wasn't a new map that came in no new game modes nothing really it was just kind of hey happy halloween here's like 30 tiers or something of a Halloween quote-unquote challenge, so who knows at this point, point? and I, I mean, I hope that they do the right thing here, 
I hope that they make the right decision, but knowing Treyarch and Activision, it's very possible that they don't. And this is a topic we'll have to revisit when the time comes. I don't think we should hail these as new maps. I don't think we should get excited about these. I think we should just wait and see. You know, there, there's no real reason to kind of fly off the handle right now and like formulate the decision literally before we know anything about it. So, I mean, that's really it, guys. So, three possibilities. Hopefully, the one that I wish, wish upon is the right one. So, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Tell me what you think about these two quote unquote new maps down below. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions on this one, so follow me on Twitter at sub to optimus Join the Discord down below. I hope you guys had an awesome Thanksgiving yesterday if you celebrated. Thank you to my channel members for your $5 a month. Your financial contributions help my channel tremendously, and until my next video, guys, this is Optimus getting hyped up over a remake of a remake in the game that's a remake that had another remake in a different Call of Duty, and signing out.